Welcome to Giant Crab Island. For the next few days, I'm gonna be camping and living off the ocean and the land in search of the world's biggest crab. First thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go up through this tropical island, follow it into the heart, up to a vantage point. Whoa, whoa, to scope things out. I gotta get off this beach before I get swept away. Up the stream we go. This is fresh water, but down here it's not really drinkable. There are a few spots around the island that I'll be able to drink it. Whoa. I can finally start hearing the crashing waves against the shore. I'm bloody close. So obviously I can't dive off here, but also I can't go any further. This is just too gnarly. But that means on the other side of the island, it should be absolutely beautiful, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna backtrack, grab my gear, head back into the island along the coast and find a spot to hop in and hopefully get some dinner. With the hand spear, I'm gonna yeet it off this cliff and swim around the corner. And fingers crossed I get something. Oh, oi, tuna. Tuna. Oh, there's tuna. Behind the scenes at this point, we'd been diving for hours and hours. The currents were super strong, bringing this murky water in, mixed in with the clear. But finally, after a couple of deep drops, I got exactly what I wanted. But the sharks had other plans, of course. That's my fish getting absolutely mauled. I'm gonna head back into the jungle, around the coast, and keep this adventure going. Absolute leg burner to get up here. I'm not joking, my booty is gonna be popping by the end of this video. I just wanna make it to a vantage point so I can sort of suss out the coast. I wanna hop in later on. Like I said, I'm living off the ocean. I didn't pack any food, so I need to catch my own food. I've got the hammock in my backpack to set it up later on wherever I go for the next few nights. And the adventure officially begins for the world's largest crab. Booby just took off. Oh my god, this is scary. Woo! The view is breathtaking, but it's actually really scary because if I fell down there, I'd literally die. The first mission of our adventure was done. We found the vantage point, got the drone up and sussed out the island. We want to head to the coast now looking for food, water, and of course, the giant crab. But the sun was racing down, and little did we know that the very first night of the trip, was an absolute wild one. There's heaps of giant crabs. I'm gonna follow this stream up. As the sun sets, they're nocturnal, so they're gonna come out. There's one there, one there. Ooh, ooh, look, they're actually everywhere here. Look, there's a bluey one there, one just here. 
Look how easily he is climbing up like it's absolutely nothing. Woo! Oh! One, two, three, four, five, literally six, seven, eight, nine, just in this tiny little area here. Couple here. Just sort of gonna follow this track in, see where it goes. Heaps, heaps. Hello, mate. My name's Brody. To meet you guys, mate. I'm not a coconut. No. Okay, fair enough. They have so much power in their legs, and these claws literally would take my finger off easy, without a doubt. This guy is one of the biggest ones I've seen on this whole trip. We have an intruder here. We could have a fight. This guy wouldn't like it. Back up and see if it gets a little bit nasty here. Oh, you bugger. Doesn't get my fit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Check it out. The coconut crabs are already climbing up because they can probably smell me or the hammock up that tree. There's a huge one up there. I don't know whether he's gone up or down. And I'm just chilling in the hammock right here. This is wild. Good bloody morning everyone, up early, cutting towards the coast. This is the exact location from last night. There's a few stragglers, oh, it's the first light and it's getting me real pumped. We're about to head to Giant Crab Beach and hopefully, fingers crossed, that I just get surrounded by absolute monsters. Let's go. on this side of the island. Dead glassy. Whew. Whoa, booby. And he's out of here. I'm gonna head down to this point here and have a little bit of a look. This is like a no spear zone. So I can't go hunting out here, but I definitely can hop in and go get some fresh water underneath that waterfall. So I'll see you guys in the drink. Let's go, baby. Oh, there it is. Giant Crab Beach. Look, a couple of absolute monsters right here. Look at this, eating a coconut. Whoa, hello fellas. Later on when the sun sets, all the giant crabs will come straight out of the jungle onto the beach here, waiting, and hopefully we find amongst them the world's biggest land crab. First thing I'm gonna do is go find a place to put my hammock. We'll be camping here throughout the night looking for those giant crabs. Anything can happen. Look how beautiful this is. Might go for a swim in here later on. Woo! We are on. Oh. 
finally. There are so many giant coconut crabs during the daylight, they're nocturnal. So normally they hunt and come out at the night, but right here, they're absolutely everywhere. Look at that big blue guy right at the front there. Whoa, around me, you guys probably can't see, but there's literally probably hundreds of giant crabs. This guy's really sussing me out. Boy, well, put that core away, mate. Thing is, with their big pointers, if he grips me, they're so strong, I wouldn't actually be able to move out the way and he'd be like on me. Okay. The coconuts are that way. Oh, oh. These two might get into it in a bit. Oh, these two are squaring off as well. Oh, oh big fight. There's a bit of a battle up front there for that cocoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Could be a big fight here. Another day is about to bite the dust, but it is just getting exciting. While we're here, we're obviously living off the island. So we're about to grab all our gear, head to the coast and go for a night dive. Hoping for some lobsters or something like that. What's an airplane? Oh, straight up. What the hell? That looks so weird, eh? What kind of, There should be any planes land on the island. Oh. Right? That's like a naval plane or something. It'd be like a military plane. Military plane. Into the darkness we go, yo ho! Good bloody morning everyone. Last night was so much fun. I'm gonna keep that squid for later on. Try and catch something with my pole spear, get a good feed in our bellies and continue this journey on. But hey, anything can happen in search of the giant crab. <laughs> oh, oh. Epic. Oh, hello mate. I'm sorry to bother you. There's a little baby bird there. We, we don't want to disturb it, so I'm going to go around. Have a good one, mate. I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Whoa. I've only got the pole spear to hopefully hunt something. It's a bit more challenging than a spear gun. There's a few fish that I'm after that I don't target at home. The black trevally, the surgeon fish, the giant trevally, and the blue fin trevally. They're all on my target list, but I'll see how I go. Fingers crossed I can get something for dinner. Ooh, here we go guys, let's hop in the drink.
So this fella right here is a surgeon fish. These little tabs on the back there are literally razor sharp, as you can tell there. YBS knife, youngbuds.co if you want one of these. I'm gonna try and stab a hole right in the middle there. Through. Get him through a bit. Think about that. Whip him over. Bit of a granny. Put him through the spear hole, like that. Just need it kind of just like do that. That shouldn't pull through now. <gasps> it's working! Wrap him up. Like I was saying before, it is a bit of a mission to where we want to go. It's a bit of a trek, so I just need any test for this. I just want to wrap it up to make sure it's easy to carry. There you go. Mm, that's pretty good, eh? <laughs> I've got it all over my face. <laughs> so we got a bit to do still. Don't go anywhere, guys. So I got told by one of the locals, a little tip off that right here, these are wild banana trees just growing in the middle of the bloody island. I don't want to take any bananas, but I'm looking for one that's fallen over or dropped. I want these leaves here. Be friendly. Ah! <laughs> you just yeah. jumped. Perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. I didn't really want to chop any down, and this is just recently fallen. The moment has finally come. It was an absolute mission to get organized to have this fire. We didn't realize, but there's only certain areas in the island that you can have fires. So we actually had to get a car, drive from one side of the island to the other side. We had to get sticks, coconuts, a literal fire pit, permits, permission to have this fire to finally cook the fish, but it's gonna make it so much better. And just over my shoulder there, there's a giant coconut crab that's come out. We must be able to smell the fish in the coconut. But here we go. Oh, I hope this works. Oh my God, first go. Oh. Yes. Some small sticks. A couple of cocos. Oh, watch out for old mate there. Ooh. Yes. Yes. We are fire, baby. Yes, and a coconut crab literally right here. Look at him. They are so cool. Oop, it's coming at you. If this guy's just sort of come to suss out, it probably can smell the fish that we're going to cook. <laughs> it's time to prep the surgeon fish right here. Got these banana leaves we collected earlier. I want to remove the leaf from the stem. Just like that. Broken. Not a hundred percent sure what it'll taste like though. That's the exciting part, or if it'll even work. So hang around. Heaps of coconut leaf there to work with. Chopping the surgeon's knives off. That right there is literally what almost took me out. Ready to sort of wrap this up now. Try that. That layer done, I'm gonna put this on top. Sort of seal the deal like that. 
and this is intense. We're so hungry. I really don't want to stuff this up. I must admit, it's not super neat, but it's all locked up and sealed up. It should just cook in its own juices. I'm gonna get the coal ready. And fingers crossed it really is 50-50 whether I stuff this or not. But I'm so I just hope that I've nailed it. I hope that this works. While we're waiting for the fire to get some coals, we found like the world's biggest coconut and it's perfect for a football. Oh, that was sick. Not only on camera, but off camera, we've been surviving from whatever we can catch from the ocean. That black Torelli that I got earlier, we processed it and ate the whole thing. Behind the scenes, Vicky and the crew are also here. We filmed a video before this camping on this beautiful tropical island. Go watch that after this. Caught it with my bare hands. <laughs> Never actually eaten one. <laughs> it's been one hell of an adventure, but it's not over yet. Here we go. 10 minutes like that. I'll probably flip it for five. We are on, baby. If you think I forgot about the squid that I caught with my bare hands, you are wrong. I've just got it on a stick and I'm literally gonna sit here and just slowly rotate it over the fire, waiting for that surgeon fish to cook in the banana leaf. Just like an entree. Wait, actually, I'm not going to lie, I thought that was going to be terrible, but I've cooked it perfect. Come on. Look at those juices. Ah, 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 ah. Yes! We've got Strata Dog here. This is literally the moment of truth. We've been working so hard behind the scenes. On this island, you literally literally need to eat whatever you catch. There's not much around. <sighs> no time to waste. Dig in boys. Ah, look at these blowflies, man. We're gonna have to smash this. All right, this is it. The first time I've ever eaten surgeon fish. Cheers, mate. Cheers. That's good, man. That's really good. It's like creamy. 